Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be giving you guys some more information about penny shopping. Um, this is going to just be like another how-to, but it's just going to be an updated version of the last one. Um, so the first thing, when you are penny shopping, you want to know how this stuff is pennying out. Everybody, I get this question asked often. Um, so if something is like, not, they're not going to sell it anymore, or it's expired, like that, um, then that's when the item is going to go for a penny. They also have like holiday stuff. Any kind of holiday stuff like that is also going to penny. Um, so when this stuff goes on the penny, they'll get notified before it does. So they know these items are what they need to pull for the sh pull from the shelf. Um, if they don't pull it from the shelf or you get to the store before they get a chance to pull it from the shelf, that's when you can get these items for a penny. Now in the policy, it states that they have to sell these items to you if they are in your cart. If they're not in your cart, then they don't have to sell them to you. Um, they can go and get whatever whatever products you leave behind after you leave the store. Or assume that they can have someone else do it while you're in the line. Um, so, we have two specific rules when you are penny shopping. The first rule is never to ask an employee if they have penny items, if they have a penny area, um, what items they have for a penny. Any type of information like that where you're talking about pennies to the people that work in a store, that's never okay. They will go make sure that the, there's no penny items there. They'll want to know how you know about these things. That is why our group is private because you're not really supposed to get these items. Um, it's okay if you do once in a while, but they don't really want you to. Another thing is, the the second rule is to make sure you clean up your mess. I know a lot of the times Dollar Generals have this huge clearance section and it's just disturbingly a mess. Like it's just, sometimes it's just crazy. I went to a store the other day and they had five baskets of stuff just sitting on the floor, all penny items. And I found some stuff, but it was rough. Um, so when I go to stores, I like to go to stores and leave it looking better than I found it, but that's just me. I'm getting items for a penny, so why not help them out a little bit? Um, so what you need to know about penny shopping is never ask anyone where their penny items are, clean up your mess, um, you need to know all about the tags. Um, so the tags come in shapes, colors, and if, you, if you're wondering, I do have notes, that's why I'm looking at this. Um, so they come in shapes, colors dots and timestamps. Now sometimes those items don't have any of that so that's when you want to find the barcode. Now I don't have any of the items that have like the shapes, colors, dots, or timestamps but I'll show you what the barcode one looks like because I do have three of these. So this is something that I just found. It is a Sally Hansen extreme color for your nails. And this one doesn't have anything on it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for the last four numbers of the barcode. Which on this one it says 6534. So this was on a list. That's the way that I found this item. I just looked for the last four numbers on the barcode. And they matched up so I knew this item was a penny. Now that's the same with this one. Now this is the product. And then I just looked at the barcode. And this one I, f I got last year. This one is old. But I just looked at the barcode on this one too. But these were um, continued. That's why they stopped selling these. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, so generally, item items will get pennied on Tuesday morning when the store opens. Um, so that's when they're supposed to pull the items off the shelf. If you go in, uh, in there on Monday, the items aren't going to be a penny. It's going to be the discount price. Um, they're not supposed to pull the items until Tuesday morning. So if you go there as soon as the store opens, you shouldn't have any problem getting all the items. That's what I usually do. I like to be there when the store opens to get the items. Now, um, that is pretty much what I do. Um, I don't know if I have any more tips or tricks or anything there's an app i i don't recommend the app to people and this is because it's not very like there's items like okay all these items were pennies i do i bu i did buy the app to see if i like it now all these items were pennies none of these items were on the app so to me i will better off just 
looking at my list than even using the app. To me, I think it's pointless. Now, my list is always going to come, it's going to come out during the weekend. Now, if when I get the list, I usually put it on YouTube, um, like Saturday or Sunday, and then I put it on my blog, and then Monday before the, um, before two, right before Tuesday, I will put the list on my Facebook group. Um, so you can always look out for the group. If you have any questions, you can send me messages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, my blog. You can comment on this video. I have multiple ways to get in touch with me. You can also email me, um, whichever way works for you. If you have any questions, um, Items, when you're looking for penny items, they're not always going to be in the clearance section. Um, I, I make sure to look in all the other areas for um, all the items on the list because they're not always in the clearance section. And also, when you do find an item, like say you found like the Gray Star um, socks that we just had penny, um, they were, I think it was two or four count socks. Um, but they were like Ninja Turtles and stuff. Now those socks were did penny, and I will put you guys. I'll put a um, I'll put in a clip of another video, and it shows you that if you see a gray star and it says like F seventeen, which is fall of two thousand seventeen, you know that that item is not gonna be a penny because it is just now starting to be fall. Now, if you see like F16 or F15, that's how you know that item is going to be a penny because it is for the year before. Now, I will put the video in right here of the socks that I found that were an F17, but also a gray star. Um, make sure you take lots of screenshots. Lots and lots of screenshots are going to help you. They're going to help you a lot. Um, I'm going to put an email list on my on my blog. So if anyone wants the list, you can just subscribe there with your email and then it'll automatically get, out, get sent out to you. So we don't approve every question if it's been asked a bunch of times because you can it, that just shows us that you're not reading and we want everyone to learn on their own. Um, penny shopping is a, it's an amazing thing, but you also need to look, you need to practice and you need to learn. Um, not everyone is going to get a penny their first time or second time or third time. It does take time and you have to learn. You're never going to be able to succeed in penny shopping if you don't read um, and learn and you can you can ask questions but ask questions in the correct thread um, so if you guys have any more questions or if you'd like me to do a um, Facebook live just let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time